Don Wilson with D3 Masonry today on the Habitat Job in Princeton, Alabama. Uh, Don, tell us a little bit about D3 Masonry. I'm a small independent contractor here in Birmingham, do a lot of work for Habitat, you know, local people around, and been in it for about 20 years. Uh, where did you learn your trade, Don? I uh, started at the bottom. You know, brick code or brick base or whatever. Uh, out here in this business, uh, brick layer is just a job title. You know, a man can do anything out here that needs to be done. It's no brick or whatever. But uh, I just learned from being around friends with brick layers. That day I was brick layers working in the field. So you say working in the field is going to be the best way for somebody to learn this trade? Yeah, that's the only way you're going to learn this trade. What, what looks good on paper don't always work in the field. What do you tell us one thing? What do you like about your job? Well, I mean, I, you know, I can go back years later and look at the things I've done. And, you know, show family members 15 years ago houses that I wrecked. Even after I'm gone, I mean, I'm sure the house is still going to be here. You can see it all down the floor. Right. I, I guess you could say you're leaving a signature in all kinds of different places. You could say that. Well, that's awesome, Don. Well, we're glad you're here with us today. Uh, would you say, uh, what would you say the census is for the average person, what they think about tradesmen today? Uh, this day and time, everybody's in a rush, rush mode. You know, nobody has time. You find very few bricklayers that, that'll take time to train. You know, you got to show up on the job and show them that you're interested in what you're doing. It's not just a payday from week to week. And there's still guys, I mean, I'm still learning things, you know, and I've been in it 20 years. I've learned these things every day. Well, thank you, Don. We appreciate your time today. What we're trying to do with our documentary is to expose the value that's in the art of masonry, tile, and many other trades. And uh, I think people need to know what it takes to accomplish these jobs, the, the mathematics that it takes for you to do your job. I know it takes a lot of preparation. You can schedule a job properly, uh, the correct amount of materials, the layout. Uh, uh, so a person that wants to get involved in masonry or light trade really needs to have a really good understanding of mathematics and, and how things work together. Exactly. John, thank you so much for being with us today. You're welcome, buddy.